guys, General Turney here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. We are back on the night world, it's been a while since we've done an episode on this village, and you might be surprised guys, but we have pushed up so many trophies since you last saw us. We're currently sitting at number 5 in the, uh, the local ranking guys, so we are going for number 1, and for those of you that are new to the channel, we have said we are going for the top 10 global this season, and we're definitely going to do it. There is a total of 17 and a half days left, guys. We've got this in the bag. The question is, how high can we actually go? So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see the tips and tricks to trophy pushing and, you know, just doing an awesome job on the Builder's Village, guys. But for now, we're going to get ourselves into some live attacks. We're going to see what strategy I've been using, how to deploy and take down Builder's Hall 6 bases for a 2-star, and hopefully we can get to or almost reach 5,000 trophies in this episode. So my question for you, my subs, just whilst we're looking for a battle, guys, what is your all-time personal best on the Builders Hall Village? And are you Builders Hall 6 yet? What Builders Hall level are you? Don't forget Builders Hall 7 just around the corner, guys. I'm predicting first or second week of September, it's going to be released with a dropship, guys. I don't know when you think it is. Let me know. So here we go. We have landed on Raw. So taking a look at this dude's base. It's nice. It's open. It's big. And it's not maxed out. So there's, uh, there's great potential here. For a nice victory i'm gonna be striking from i want to attack from the left hand side guys but i also want to do some damage to these buildings over here because there is a lot of percent so let's do this there goes the battle machine almost called him a uh, a barbarian king there we're going to drop in some of these raged barbarians just to test for some big bombs mega mines all that stuff guys and then we're going to go for the kill so here we go Gonna try and open up this base. There goes the battle machine's ability again. Let's take out these camps and let's go for that double cannon. Causing a little bit of an issue, guys, but we're gonna take it down. Even if it costs us a sneaky archer, that is going down, guys. So here we go. There goes our first sneaky archer. We got 24%, which is actually, it's not great, but it's not too bad. The sneaky archer is gonna take us straight to 30. And it looks like it could be a great start to the episode, guys. So let's see if we can get in here. And open up this Builders Hall 6 base. So, we're currently 150 trophies almost away from 5,000. Do me a favor, leave a like on the video, guys, to wish me good luck to get to 5,000 cups in this episode. We're gonna keep playing until we lose a battle, so wish me good luck, smash a like. Please, let's see if we can get 10,000 likes on the video, guys. And uh, hopefully, before this episode ends, we can actually reach 5,000. So, here we go. Air bombs going down. Once they're down, we're going to take out the clock tower. Once the clock tower is down, the cannon. And then I'm hoping we will have a clean shot. That's taking out the Builder Soul 6, guys. So the Builder Soul. So here we go. Air bombs going to go down. They are now spectating. That's usually a good sign. It usually means they haven't done too great, guys. I think we can actually take out the Builder Soul now. Check this out. Nope. That's going to go. Oh, there we go. Yes, we can. They kind of, one went for the roaster, one went for the cannon, and one went for the builder's hall. That was strange. Literally going for all the different buildings, guys. But this is going to be hard. We need to take out three buildings, and we've only got five archers. We're going to have to, um... We're going to have to forfeit the two-star, I think, here, guys. Let's drop in. Oh, damn. We're in, we're in so much trouble here. Okay, we're in trouble now, guys. We are in serious trouble. I'm not going to lie. Here we go. If we can grab this cannon somehow with the archer, we could have a chance. There we go. That's 45. Let's just drop in two sneaky archers, guys. If these two girls can take out the Builder Soul, we're going to get ourselves a two-star. If they can't, I think it's going to be a one-star. And uh, it's kind of a shame, but that's the way, you know, that's just the way it happens sometimes. So here we go. Yo, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be a one-star, guys. In fact... Yeah, let's just send in. Oh, no, it's not even going to be a one star. I think my sneaky archer is going for the barbarian. Yeah, there she goes. Oh, she's going to turn and take out the builder's hall. What happened there, guys? That is the COC AI. How strange. How very strange. So did we get a one star? Yes, we did. Oh, my. 29 trophies. Okay. That is extremely lucky. I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of sucked that battle, guys. We messed up. But for some reason, he messed up even more. So let's get ourselves into a second versus battle. As I said, 10,000 likes, guys. Wish me good luck. We're going to keep going until we lose a battle. So whether we lose the next battle, the battle after, the one after, the one after, who knows? It's all going to come down to my skill. It's currently about 12 midnight, guys, so I'm not really tired. This is actually the time where I'm best, so stay tuned. We'll be back in a... Oh, here we go. 
I was going to say we'll be back in a moment, but Big Boy 82 is about to get it. So I've seen this base many times, and I'm going to take a wild guess and say there's going to be Mega Mines or something here. No, nothing. Well, wow, okay, so there goes a bomber. He's going to blow his way through there, and uh, we're going to drop another bomber there. And he's going to blow his little way through there. So this dude is 100% maxed out, I think. So what I want to do, there is loads of percent on these sides. Loads of low HP buildings. Let's just open up the base, guys, and take some of these down. So we're going to try and avoid the, um, the guard post by actually saving all of our troops for the um, this side over here. So there goes the battle machine. We're going to pop his ability... We're going to drop in some of these Rage Barbarians. I know there's going to be a Mega Mine in here, guys. So we're going to hold back. And we're going to drop in the rest now. So there's no Mega Mine. That's actually a great sign, guys. No Mega Mine. There goes the Battle Machines. Ability up to 27%. That's not bad. Great start. Great start for us. And we've got a nice clear shot at taking down the Archer Tower, which is going to lead us onto the Builder's Hall. So let's take this down. One sneaky Archer. We might actually be able to get that using a single archer, guys. And then we're going to use the rest of these archers to just take out some of these buildings on the outside. And this is going to take us to a really high percent. Here we go. So, final sneaky archer going to go in. She's going to take out the archer tower and move straight onto the builder's hall. So it really is a great start for me. And we might also be able to grab the, uh, the star laboratory. Let's take out that elixir collector. Check for any buildings around the outside, guys. Always crucial. And we've now got a clear shot. So before I go for the uh, the Builder's Hall, I want to take out this Star Lab and grab the Army Camp on the left-hand side because that's going to get me quite a lot of percent. Let's also be cheeky and take this Gold Collector, guys. Okay, here we go. There goes the Star Lab. Army Camp's going to go down straight after. And now we're going to send in just two Sneaky Archers. I think I've already done some damage to the Builder's Hall. For those of you that don't know, it takes usually three sneaky archers if you're lucky to take down a builder's hall, guys. It just depends how many troops, how many defenses are going to shoot you once you become visible using sneaky archers. But if you're invisible for quite a while and there's only one defense, you only need three sneaky archers. So there we go. You can see we've done some damage here. Going to take out that barrack, guys, and uh, we have a choice now. I'm going to go for this Archer Tower. It's going to give us a guaranteed thrill. Oh, damn. Well, it would have been guaranteed, but I messed up and hit a spring trap. Kind of sucks, guys. So it looks like we're going to be ending on 56 instead of 59. Did we get a victory? Fingers crossed. Yo, we lost, guys. Minus 28 trophies. So for some reason, guys, all my footage decided to corrupt and actually delete my voiceover or my recording of my, uh, my narration. And we're going to have to do it manually, so let's carry on. So we're going to get ourselves straight into another battle. Obviously, it's live, but my commentary is now not live anymore. So I do apologize, guys. But for some reason, my laptop just decided to completely delete all the narration. But we're going to keep pushing. We're going to see if we can win some more battles. Now, this base is one which I've seen many times, and I'm going to guarantee you well, obviously, I know now, but I was saying in the video when I was recording live, I was saying that there's always a Mega Mine right next to those air bombs, and we're going to find out in a couple of seconds. I can't remember, but I believe there was a Mega Mine right next to those air bombs, guys. So check it out. We're trying to take out as many buildings as possible, displacing all my bombers and opening up the base. So here we go. Moving in now. Oh, there's no Mega Mine. I thought there was, but uh, you know, apparently there's not. And uh, we're gonna keep going. So check it out. We still got our sneaky archers, of course. We still got a single bomber, and we have our rage barbarians. Now we're gonna keep pushing. Currently, I'm sitting at 4,900 trophies on the dot as I do this narration, guys. So we're currently sitting at number four inside of the UK and globally. Let me just check for you. Just whilst the battle's going on, I'm gonna log into the game. And we're going to see what position I am. So check it out. The uh, the guard post comes out. Takes out some of my, my, uh, my troops, guys. But let me just scroll down. So just as I'm narrating, we are currently sitting. Take a guess. Oh, wow. We're actually doing good. We're number 161. So we're already inside of the top 200 global. So that's actually not too bad. It's higher than I thought, guys. So we're definitely doing this. 151 positions until we get into the top 10. So check it out. Sneaky Archers taking out the air bombs, taking on the elixir storage, and once those two buildings have been surpassed, we have a clear shot at that archer tower, then once that's down, we're going to be taking on that builder's hall 6. So let's find out 
if we get a two star. I can't quite remember if we do, but I think we get a victory on this base, guys. So the air bomb's about to go down. The archer tower standing there, taking some shots at my sneaky archers, but a single one. Oh, now we're going to need two. Two sneaky archers, and it's RIP to the archer tower. And it looks like we've got a clear shot at the builder's hall. So here we go, seven sneaky archers remaining, just taking a scout look at the base, and we're on 45% so far, so we need two more buildings. One's going to take us to 48, the second will take us to that crucial 50, including the Builder's Hall. That will get us our second star, guys. So, two sneaky archers going to go down, they're going to take out the Archer Tower, Builder's Hall, going to get taken out, guys. Still got three more sneaky archers, and there it is, two star guaranteed, Builder's Hall 6 gets demolished by General Tony, and... If I'm not mistaken, we did win. I'm sure, I'm 99% sure that this dude lost, guys. Let's find out. Builder Soul 6 goes down, grabbing us the second star. 50%. Final building to get taken out will be this cannon over on the left-hand side, guys. And that's going to take us to a crucial 53% two-star on this dude's base. So zero seconds, game over. Let's find out, did we get a victory? Yes, we did, and we got 25 trophies. Not too bad, so making our way into the final attack of the episode. I'm not gonna spoil the fun. Do you think I won, or do you think I lost? Obviously, I know, as I said, it's live, but the narration is a, uh, you know, over the top, so it's not really live for me. I know what happened. This is actually one of the best base designs I've ever seen, and I think I'm gonna copy him. This base design, when I looked at it, I thought, how do I attack this guy? So that's how I know it's a great base. I didn't know how to attack it. I didn't know what army to use. And I've never actually seen it before. And that's always a great thing. So, let's see what I actually end up doing. I think I might have changed my army to giants and barbarians. I can't even remember. But we've only got 18 seconds left before the battle starts, guys. So it can't be that long. My bad. I think I used the same army, guys. And we get a one star on the base, I believe. Don't quote me, but let's see what happens. So... Gonna start off by dropping in some Rage Barbarians straight through a Spring Trap there. I don't know how that works. The whole point of a Spring Trap is to fling the troop off, but it's weird when a troop runs straight through it, especially if it's a Barbarian or an Archer. I understand if it's a Goblin because they're too fast and they run straight through the Spring Traps, but Rage Barbarians doesn't really make sense, guys. But you know what? It's Supercell's choice, so let's find out. Rage Barbarians coming in, Push Trap goes off, getting my troops right deep into this dude's base. The Crusher, unfortunately, crushed nearly every single one of my Rage Barbarians, including my poor Battle Machine. It's game over for him. And it comes down to pretty much Sneaky Archers and a single Bomber. Now, this is interesting, guys. The Bomber can actually do quite a lot of damage, depending if you use him correctly. So we're going to be saving the Bomber, and I'm going to see if we can use him more to the end of the raid to pick up some extra buildings. So let's see what happens here. Sneaky Archer goes down onto the Air Bombs. It's on about 80% hit points, which is kind of sad because air bombs have so many hit points. Three more sneaky archers to take out the double cannon. And we're kind of looking like we're going to be hitting a brick wall. The question is, can we at least get a one star? Let's find out, guys. So the air bombs going to get taken out to about 5% hit points. One more sneaky archer should take them out. And hopefully she's going to go on and deal some damage to the archer tower. Now we're going to be taking on the Firecracker from down the bottom using a single Sneaky Archer. And then eventually, the Bomber is going to take out the Gem Mine, guys. So that leaves us with a potential one star in the bag. Let's find out what happens. Here we go. Final few Sneaky Archers going to go down. Going to drop the Bomber on the Gem Mine just as predicted. And then, final few gonna go straight for the crusher now this is where i messed up guys instead of going for the builder's hall i went for the crusher and it's game over i'm not gonna lie to you we lost we lost we're gonna end the video here i'm not even gonna bother showing you guys it's kind of embarrassing but we lost we won two we lost two we ended up losing a trophy in this video kind of sucks guys but that's the way it is stay tuned for the next episode coming shortly i'll see you soon peace out